Today we're gonna show you the 15 greatest Android hacks to make the most out of your phone. And don't worry, I'm not about to tell you to clean your camera lens with soy sauce for better resolution. These are the absolute top tier tricks that I actually use, from time-saving tricks to mind-blowing secrets to life-changing hacks. Let's start with a banger. This app will let you play YouTube with the screen off. Now this is huge because YouTube requires you to pay for YouTube Premium to get access to this feature. This forces you to choose between paying YouTube money or killing your battery. But this app is the solution. The name of the app is Black Screen. You can download it from the Google Play Store. Now, once you've installed it, open up the app and click Enable Black Screen. Now, it may also ask you for permission to check up here on top. Go ahead and check it if it does. Now, if it works, a little clock icon will appear on your home screen. So whenever you're listening to a YouTube video or music, click on that little lock icon. It will immediately turn your screen black and you won't be forced to drain your battery anymore. Now, this next one will allow you to play a sound for your phone whenever you lose it. Which, if you're like me, is basically every day. So first, go to Settings. Then, go to Biometrics and Security. Now, click Find My Mobile. Check the On button. Now, on another device, go to myaccount.google.com slash device dash activity. Click on your device and then click Find Device. Now, you can play a sound on your phone to find it wherever it is. Now, if your phone was stolen, you can go one step further. You can even lock the device so a thief can't get into it. Or you can even erase the device completely if you need to. Now, this next one will allow you to take a screenshot on any Android device just by tapping the back of it. Now, this method will work on any Android device, but if you have a Google model, you can do this in your native settings. I'll show that method after. So for non-Google phones, open up the Play Store. Next, search for tap tap screenshot. Now install it and click on accessibility service is disabled. Then click on install apps. Now uncheck where it says off. It's going to say allow tap tap screenshot to have full control of your phone, which sounds a bit scary, but the app is trustworthy. It has tons of good reviews. I've used it myself as well. And the app does actually need it to make this happen. Now, whenever you double tap the back of your phone, it's going to take a screenshot. Now for the Google users, there's no need to install an app. You can actually do this with the phone's native settings. So go into settings and then system. Click on gestures and then click on quick tap. Check quick tap slider on. Then choose whatever action you want to happen. Screenshot, pause your YouTube video, open a specific app, whatever you want. Once that's done, whatever you picked is going to happen when you double tap the back of your phone. Now this next one is to stop that nosy friend who's always going through your phone. Go to settings and then go to biometrics and security. Scroll down and tap other security settings. Scroll down and enable pin windows. Hold down on the app you want to pin and then click pin this app. Now the person can't leave this app until you let them. To un Pin it again, touch and hold the recents and back buttons at the same time. Now this next one is gonna make your notifications look so much cleaner. To get started, open up the settings again, then click notifications, swap the pop-up style to brief, then click brief pop-up settings, then click edge lighting style, and then choose your favorite. I use fireworks, but a lot of these look really good, so you can choose your favorite. You can also change the color, the transparency, like all these little settings in here, whatever you like. By the way, I make tech videos like this every single Sunday, so if you wanna catch the next one, be sure to smash that subscribe button below. Now, while we're making your phone look cooler. You can also pick up an icon pack so you can replace your plain icons with these much cleaner looking ones. A lot of companies charge money for these, but I have 10 awesome ones here that are 100% free in the Google Play Store. So whichever ones you want to download, just search this in the Google Play Store and it's free to download. Zwart, Viral, Wines, Moonrise, Emptos, Almug, Unicorn, Vlaricons, Matte Black Icon Pack, and Candy Cons. Now, I'm not gonna go into the details of how to make your phone look exactly like mine because it's gonna make the video too long. But if you do want that video, I've already made it actually, so I'll link in the description below. It's about six minutes long, so check it out there if you want my home screen. Now, this next trick will make your phone feel way faster. Go to Settings, scroll to the very bottom and click About Phone. Now click Software Options. Scroll down and click the build number a bunch of times really fast. You may have to enter your password or pin to continue here. This will unlock the developer mode. Swipe all the way back to settings and now click developer options. Now scroll down all the way until you see three animation options. Change each of them from 1x to 0.5x. Now that you've done that, all your animation speeds will be half the duration and the phone will feel way faster and way more responsive. Now be careful not to change it to 5x. This actually happens a lot. If you change it to 5x, your phone will feel really, really slow. So remember, change it to 0.5x. Jumping into the next one, this trick is key. It's going to help you get more FPS into any mobile game. Now you can finally beat the ultimate boss on Powerpuff Girls Monkey Madness that you've been waiting for forever. Swipe down and open your settings. Scroll down until you see About Phone. Select software information. Now, go to the build number and tap it as fast as you can over and over until you unlock developer mode. Now, swipe left until you get back into settings. Scroll all the way down until you see developer options again. Scroll down to graphics driver. Select your favorite game and check your system graphics driver. Now, your phone will utilize your system graphics driver for the game you choose. What this means is that the game performance will be better, but your battery will die a little bit faster. So keep that in mind. 
Now, you may not know this, but the Android developers put a secret Easter egg into every single version of Android. This is how to find the developer's secret Easter egg for Android 12. Head over to the settings app, open about phone and then software information, then Android version. From this page, tap the Android version three or four times to open up the Easter egg itself. Now, you will see the secret clock. The Easter egg will unlock if you set the clock to 12 exactly. And it looks pretty cool. Now, tip number 10, this trick is for the age old problem that dates back to the beginning of time. You're sitting in bed listening to some chill lo-fi music on low volume. Then a notification goes off so quietly on your phone that you don't hear it. Now you gotta choose to blast your lo-fi music too loud or risk missing that notification because it's too quiet. This is the solution. Hit your volume key up or down. This should bring up the volume bar. Now place your finger on it and drag it down. This will reveal the different volume options. Now you can adjust the volumes to whichever you need. So for tip number 11, we're gonna do another one that's gonna make your phone look way cooler. Whenever you're playing music, your phone is going to create an awesome edge lighting effect on your screen that will sync with the music. To get this, go to the Google Play Store and download Muviz Edge and open it up. Be sure to enable permission draw over the other apps when the app requests it. Now, toggle these three settings as they pop up as well. Now, from the main edge lights tab, you can swipe through the different options and choose your favorite. Be sure to choose the ones with the check mark as those are free though. The ones with the star are paid only. You can also customize the color by clicking the color swatch in the top right. And this one actually looks really cool. Have you ever been suspicious about an app that you love so much, whether it's killing your battery or not? Here's how you can find out for sure. Open your settings and search for battery and device care. Now select battery. Now select usage since last full charge. This will rank each of the apps on your phone for which has consumed the most power. Now you know for sure if an app was secretly killing your battery. So now that we've exposed the culprits of battery kill, let's do the same exact thing with data killing. This will reveal which of your apps, if any, are killing a bunch of your data. So first, open the settings and navigate to connections, then to data usage. This will rank each of the apps on your phone for which has consumed the most data on that source. It's gonna rank the apps in the exact same way from the most data consumed to the least data consumed. This next trick is for when you need to take a screenshot of a page that is longer than your phone. This one is so good it can actually go ridiculously long so your screenshot could be one screenshot of pages and pages and pages if you want that. Go to the Google Play Store and download an app called Screen Master. Now install and open the app. From here you just need to activate it by clicking that power button in the middle. Now this new button will pop up. Feel free to move it to anywhere on the screen that's convenient for you. Now when you need to take a screenshot on a certain app tap the button and press stick. Every time you click that plus icon, it'll scroll down and take another screenshot. When you're finished, tap the check icon and it'll automatically stitch all of them together. Finally, here's one more trick to make your iPhone look a little bit cooler. Go to the Google Play Store and search for live wallpapers and download this one. Search through the app for your favorite wallpaper. Here are some of my favorites. Now, literally all you need to do is select one, set home screen, and enjoy your animated home screen. But we have an even more hype video coming next Sunday. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that one. And don't forget, I have a ton of other videos similar to this one. So check out one of these two videos that pop up on the screen because they're the videos YouTube thinks that you'll like the most. Thanks again and see you next time. Peace.